Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today I am going to discuss with you some general performance testing questions and this is actually a question which was asked to me by Utkarsh and Utkarsh uh, faced these questions in, an, in a real interview of performance testing and these are the three questions that he has asked me to answer. The first one is how you will do end-to-end -end performance testing. The second question is how to convince a client that performance testing is necessary for him. And then the third question is how to test with 1000 users, what all approaches to follow. So I will try to answer these to the best of my knowledge. Coming to the very first question, which is how will you do end to end performance testing? Now, whenever you are asked these kind of questions in an interview, or if you are, if you have to set up a performance testing end-to-end -end performance testing from scratch into a real-world project, then the first thing is you should get all the requirements clearly. So you should ask for uh, what are the scenarios that has to be tested, what is the expected user load, do we need geographical distribution. So geographical distribution means that do we want to put a load on the server from different locations or different geographies or a single geography and you should get everything very clearly stated and you should understand all the requirements very clearly. This is the very first thing that you should understand. And once you have all the requirements uh, clear with you, the second thing is you should ask for a performance testing environment. So you should never ever do any performance testing on any existing environment, which is already being used for other activities. And uh, if you do that, it can compromise the network. It can bring down the entire infrastructure and it can hamper other activities. So always do performance testing on a separate environment. So you should ask for it. If it is not available, you should then ask to create a separate environment for this. So uh, this is the very first thing that you should do. And then once you have all the requirements clearly stated down, written down, and you have a separate environment, then you will start performance testing by creating a test plan for the scenarios that are in scope. And once you create these scenarios, you will run it with a single user and check everything is fine and if everything is fine you should get this plan approved from the concerned person and only after you get an approval you should increase the load and then you should increase the load gradually it's not that you should start with the max load for example if you want to do a test with 10,000 users do not put a load of 10,000 users on your server directly go gradually maybe you can start with 10 100 or even like you can make sections of 10 50 100 200 and so on and then you should capture all the results and then you should also have a baseline created now i will also talk about baseline in a moment uh, but let me go to the second question how to convince a client that performance testing is necessary for him now the best thing you can do is if you are already into an organization you can take example of your previous projects and take example of how your previous projects help the clients to uh, mitigate the issues in production and how they were able to scale up their applications with a good performance testing. And then you can also take examples of what can be the consequences if you do not do a proper performance testing. Now, one of the examples I can give you is uh, in 2014, uh, there was an online shopping website Flipkart that announced some discounted uh, sale for a few days called Big Billion Days. And when it started, the, there was so much load on the servers that the site actually crashed. So if you want to uh, mitigate or avoid these kind of issues, then performance testing is very, very necessary. And you can take some of these examples and then also show your credibility on performance testing. Uh, the third question is, how to test with 1000 users, what approaches to follow. Now, again, whenever you want to set up a performance test for 1000 or 10,000 or any number of users, the first thing is, as I told you earlier, uh, set your priorities and then uh, take down all the requirements. So you should be very, very clear on the requirements. What should be the actual load? Or what should be the average load, min, minimum load, maximum load? Uh, what is the geographical distribution if it is required? And what are the scenarios to be undertaken for the test? And then when you have all these environment uh, issues related, all the environments created, and then all the requirements very clearly stated, then you will start with a single user test and then gradually increase your test. Now here I will talk about baseline. So baseline is something like once you run your test, you have your results, you have to analyze or compare your results with some baseline. So you should have a baseline result or you should have some numbers against which you can 
analyze or compare your results now it may happen that your business teams or management teams will give you some numbers for example they will say that this particular request should respond in this particular time for example this request should respond within 0.5 seconds so you have a baseline and you can compare all your results against this baseline it may also happen sometimes that you are not given any baseline and then you have to create your own baseline in that case what you will do is uh, once you have set up your test plan you can run it with a single users and then gradually increase the load for 10 uh, users 50 users 100 users 200 users and so on and for every load you will run uh, multiple tests and take the average and uh, put this all in an excel file or in a csv file so that you have a baseline created and now whenever you will run any subsequent test you can compare it against this baseline and then you can um, show the results whether they are positive or negative so this is what you will do in any kind of performance testing uh, project or a test plan now in any performance testing interview you have to show your experience your skills and your knowledge and you have to answer to the best of your abilities there is nothing like a perfect answer so the answers can be modified or can change with situations with scenarios and the type of testing you are doing but the thing is that you should know what you are speaking you should be ready for any counter questions so once you have all these uh, things very clear all the concepts very clear in your mind you will you can face all this and face all these questions with full confidence so that was all in today's session if you have any more questions that you want me to answer in the next video you can put them down in the comment section below also if you think i have missed something you can again put it in the comment section below and i will uh, see if i can feature it in the next video and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel i request you to subscribe to this channel also hit the bell icon so that you can keep receiving new videos from the channel automation step by step i will meet you in the next video Thank you for watching.